Yeah. I'm one of the yeah. heroes. Yeah. Can we talk to you? Do you mind? What do you want to talk about? What happened today? Well, well went straight out of Dogtown, skateboarding, surfing it up. Before I say anything else, I want to say no matter what you've done, you deserve respect. Even if you make mistakes, you're lovable. And it doesn't matter your look skills or age or size or anything, you're worthwhile. No one could ever take that away from you. Now, this stuff right here, I was driving and I was, well, I was in the passenger side of this f***er's car and he comes over on there. He was over by the recycling center. He says, oh, when I was in the Virgin Islands, 30 years old on a business trip, I, 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 uh, I f***ed this 14 year old. I was like, you what? He's like, I raped this 14 year old. He starts crying, gives me a big hug. He's just like, 300 pound guy. I'm like, oh, sh he must be f***ed, man. Like, what's he talking about? I didn't take him seriously at first. He comes driving down this way. He's like, you know what? I come to realize I'm Jesus Christ and I can do anything I f***ing want to. And watch this. Bam! And he smashed into this f***ing guy right there. Pinned him in between that f***ing truck. And so I f***ing, I hop out. I look over. The guy's pinned there. I mean, like, freight train riders know this. Like, if you get pinned between something, do not f***ing move that shit. Otherwise, you bleed out. Like, mother yeah, I, I ran in, I grabbed the keys, he's fucking sitting there like nothing even happened. And like fucking like, man, if he had started driving that car around again, man, there would have been a hell of a lot of bodies around here. Fuck yeah, I hop on out, and so I grabbed the bag, I threw it over by that pole right there, and then fucking buddy gets out, and these two women are trying to help him, he runs up and he grabs one of them, man. Like a guy that big can snap a woman's neck like a pencil stick. So I fucking ran up behind him with a hatchet, smash, smash, smash. Yeah. The, the lady said you saved her life. She was the one who got grabbed by that fucker. You know what? Fuck is cool. That guy ain't. Shit. How, how'd you how'd you get in his car? How how did you? I was hitchhiking. I was well. Good thing I was hitchhiking. Yeah. People say don't hitchhike. Well, this is what happens. Was well, yeah. Well, at least I was here. So he did this on purpose. Dude, that guy was fucking cooked out, man. Like, he's beyond howling. Like, I don't even see any breath in him, you know what I'm saying? Can, can I get your name and where you're from, if you, if you don't mind? I'm Kai. Kai? Can I get spelling for you? Straight buddy? out of Dogtown, K-A-I. K-A-I, do you have a last name? <laughs> no, bro, I don't have anything. <laughs> where, where, where are you from originally? Are you from Fresno area? Sophia, West Virginia. No kidding. How old are you? I can't call it. Okay. What, have you ever experienced anything like today? And what made you take the actions that you did? That woman was in danger. He just finished uh, what looked like at the time killing somebody. And if I hadn't have done that, he would have killed more people. So he's dead. Good. You ever experienced anything like that, Kai? Well, this one time I was in an orchard and this fucking guy starts, starts beating on this woman who he calls his. So I walked on over and I started smashing him in the head. I can't, you, see all these, you see all these teeth marks right here for the camera? Yeah, I started smashing him in the head and in the teeth, busted out all his teeth. Motherfucking the sheriffs, not the policy enforcers, fucking show up and start like, uh, they're like, yeah, so what, what happened? I mean, like, uh, just give me any old name and just give me old uh, fucking birthday, whatever, just, yeah. What happened today after, after the, did you, you're obviously free now, but were you arrested? What was the process? What did they do to you when they came out? Obviously, they found out that you did the right thing, but the time that from the accident until now, where have you been? Well, he uh, started he started following I like I, I cleaned his motherfucking head wide open with a hatchet. He stood up like he was pulled right up, right? And like, fuck it, I'm like, I'm like, bro, if you're fucking Jesus Christ, I'll be the Antichrist, man. Like, fuck that. Shit. And he starts following me off this way, so I figure I'll lure him right away from the crowd. So I'm running off this way. I, I got a, I got a hatchet in one hand, my fucking um this bag I'm carrying over with another hand. I start running off that way. And so uh, a, a couple of the people who was bystanders to it came over and told me to stop. And I was like, why stop? And he was like, the, the cops are already on their way. I was like, is he back up and doing anything? And uh, somebody said that he was like masturbating in front of this school or fucking whatever this place is right here. Yeah. Did, were, were you questioned by police? Were you taken into custody? What happened? I mean, obviously. I was questioned. I was, I was put into the back of the uh, sheriff's wagon. It wasn't the policies that fucking pulled that over. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like I got put in the back of the uh, sheriff's wagon. The sheriff was like, what happened here? He took down a statement. I told him everything I just told you. And fucking um, let me on out. Said I couldn't grab all this stuff until uh, I, I, had, I had finished, like, they had finished with something, you know what I mean? And, like, brought me back on over here so I could be in front of this thing, like, this fucking car right here. It was fucking gnarly, man. Holy shit. It was like the biggest wave I've ever ridden in my life. What's next for you, Kai? Hopefully some surfing. 
I, if anybody's watching this somewhere else and they got a, a mini mile that they could lend a guy with a wetsuit, I'd love to test out Mavericks. Would you do it again? Club him in the head with a hatchet? You know, if I could go back in time, I'd go back over to where I was at that recycling center and he said that he had raped that chick over in the Virgin Islands, because it doesn't matter where you at, you can f***ing just spend a bunch of money and do whatever the f*** you want, you know, that's not right. If I, if I could go back in time, I would have dabbed him up right there. No, you're not, I mean, you doesn't seem like you have any concern for yourself. You're all about, I mean, doing the right thing and, and not even worrying about Kai first. I don't have any family. Like, as far as, as far as anybody I grew up with is concerned, I'm already dead. So, whatever. It's all good.